these dates again of when we have Mars in Scorpio and Mars in Sagittarius. And as you can see, we're in this second part of the cycle right here with Mars getting ready to go retrograde 9 degrees Sag, April 17th. Mars retrograde in Sagittarius. There can be an increase in frustrations and anger and all that Mars intensity to blow up because there is a double fire signature. Mars rules Aries first house. Sagittarius is also the fire element just like Aries in the first house. So there's a double fire signature. I want my freedom. I have the special destiny to fulfill and all these desires that I just want to go pursue. And so it will increase the frustration because the necessary freedoms can be stopped, blocked. In other words, that energy of Sag that wants to go out there and grow and become and follow the greener grass. What's that? The grass is always greener in the other pasture. It can't do that. It just can't do it. It's stuck at the fence line, looking over the other side, stamping its feet because it can't go forward. And so what's being asked here is to really review and evolve all of our beliefs and ideas must be assimilated before we will really be successful in taking action. There also is a need to search for integrity in our action and desires. We can get real defensive with Mars retrograde in Sagittarius. You know, it's my beliefs, it's my truth, it's my way of acting, and I know the best way to do it if you will just do what I say, if you will just shut up and do what I say and act as I tell you to. And what we have to step back and recognize, the Gemini polarity, there's many, many, many ways to take action on any subject. You know, Gemini shows us the relativity of truth. So there's many ways to act upon the evolution of our beliefs and ideas. Now, what we have to watch out for here is all of the conditioning factors we have taken on in regards to our own beliefs. And this will be true whether we're in consensus, individuating, or spirituating states of soul consciousness. Regardless of how evolved or aware we are, we will all be reviewing our beliefs and how we want to take action from those beliefs with this retrograde. We also must watch for all the different ways that we compensate on our beliefs. It's too scary to stand in my truth. It's too uncomfortable to stand in my truth. You know, I work with a you know, bunch of people in a consensus environment and everybody's very conservative and rah-rah Donald Trump and I just have to be quiet and not say anything and put my Bernie Sanders sticker on outside the office. And so with Mars retrograde, we may act out as we break free from some of these compensations, as we search to stand in our truth. And if we have been on that side of compensating or being too afraid to walk our talk, it may be important for us to stand up, to stand out, to speak out to everyone. Now, that Gemini polarity, again, it's really going to show us where we've got to communicate and interact 
and listen and look at how somebody else thinks and feels. Look at what their ideas are. Consider what their beliefs are. It doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but it is asking you, Mars retrograde and Sag, to slow down and really consider someone else's perspective. And how does that reflect on you? And how does it help you to open up and expand your understandings and your path? So Mars is the leading edge of your desire nature, has all of your beliefs evolving, has you walking your talk, has you standing in your integrity and your authenticity as best as you can. And when we stand in that natural nature, which is us, it can help us achieve our desires better. It can help us move through life easier. The Mars retrograde in Sag will definitely cause for an intensification of all kinds of religious and spiritual debates, be it with our U.S. political system in the presidential election, or be it holy wars and crusades with other countries. You know, uh, Mars retrograde in general can shorten tempers. Mm. Excuse my burp. Mars retrograde in Sagittarius can have all of us on collective levels, especially in the consensus world, defending our perspectives. You know, look at the, as the Supreme Court last year um, stood up for uh, gender rights and marriage on a federal level. Look at the backlash that's come amongst the states defending the bathroom laws. Just an example. That kind of stuff can get intensified. So when you find yourself hot and heavy with someone over beliefs, see if you can take a step back, breathe. See if you can find Sagittarius right brain intuition. Those communications, words, language um, methods to speak in ways such that you can be heard and you can hear others. Because what we are wanting to do is seek to understand where another's coming from here versus trying to impose all of our stuff on someone else. We may also find that there might be some religious scandals in the news. There can be some religious deceptions that are exposed. I don't know how many of you are aware of the FDLS, um, one of the Mormon churches that broke away from the main branch. I don't know. Let's just say, I don't remember when. Let's say 100 years ago. And um, the FDLS were the ones who decided to um, stick with polygamy. And Warren Jeffs, he was in the news and put it to prison, oh, let's, I think it was five, six years ago. I don't remember if that was a Mars retrograde for marrying underage um, young girls. And what have we had happen just before this Mars retrograde? One of his brothers, two of his brothers, they were arrested and charged with food stamp fraud. In other words, all, um, all of the women would go and sign up for food stamps and they would run their own store. And instead of getting goods, they'd run their little food stamp cards and keep the money and channel that money into building and purchasing, you know, their vehicles and all that kind of stuff. Um, the reason we're so aware of it is one of Warren Jeff's brothers, Seth Jeff's, actually was running an FDLS encampment in the southern Black Hills where we live. 
extremely secretive, um, bunkers all the way around, um, not able to see who's going, coming or going, not knowing who's there, how many live there. They recently went and tried to expand their water rights. Everybody was up in arms over it. Um, the uh, uh, state and county passed it. I think they amended it a little bit. But all of a sudden, as we go through this Mars retrograde cycle, money and religion, Scorpio Sag, here they are under this scandal and being exposed with something like mm, 11 or 12 million dollars of food stamp fraud. And so we also will be asked to let go of any desires that are no longer in alignment with the evolution of our belief systems, especially as we are evolving our beliefs through these five months that Mars is in Sagittarius. This is very closely aligned to the fact that we're all going to be looking at truth versus lies within ourself. We're going to be looking at truth versus lies surfacing in many, many different areas. We have two um, state officers in the state of Texas who were just charged. One was charged with some type of um, impropri improprieties with campaign finances. Um, another state officer was um, charged with using public money to take a private trip to go somewhere in the southeast and get a Jesus shot. I'd never heard of a Jesus shot before. Apparently it's some type of medication you get a shot for that's supposed to help with um, let's just say anti-aging. I think it's supposed to slow down aging and arthritis and all those different kind of things and really help with anti-aging. So we can look for more of the truth to come out in different ways. Financial, political, personal, legal. Um, look at how, look at the scan legal scandal we have going on with the Supreme Court in the United States and you know, refusing to even consider a Supreme Court justice in the final year of a presidential term. Uh, financially, we just had the Panama Papers released and I read an interesting article on it today that it just so happened that the names and corporations that were released didn't, you know, there wasn't very much going on from the U.S and there was holding back of names while they were exposing Iceland and Russia and um, other countries that the powers, the financial powers that be behind the scenes are really trying to change our monetary policies so that they can get us ready for bail-ins. Banks going under and being allowed to confiscate the cash in your account in exchange for a stock certificate. Go Google bail-ins if you don't know anything about them. That'll be a Marge and Sag surprise for you. Also negative interest rates because as we've went through the last decade or so with almost zero interest rates, it's not solving the financial issues because of how our systems are put together, monetary banking systems. And so negative interest rates means banks charging you a fee to deposit and hold your money. Real interesting stuff on that. If you're familiar with me and my, my public banking um, um, crusades, it's the latest article by Ellen Brown and it's on Huffington Post. What we have to also be careful of is jumping to conclusions with anything versus taking the time to research the facts. So any of these issues that we're speaking about here 
almost all of us know that mainstream may give you some news, but it's not going to give you all the news. And thank goodness for the internet because we can get in touch with so much alternative news these days to help us get to the bottom line, get to the deeper levels of things. So when we jump to conclusion, Sag, that's that fiery sparking energy, we can conclude the wrong thing. And then that's going to really lead to and be part of the Sagittarius archetype of communication mix-ups and understandings. That Gemini polarity with Mars asks us to take the time and say, this is what I heard you say. Is that what you meant? And to go through the extra time with languaging. Language falls under the archetype of Sagittarius and learning to speak in such a way as to be understood, as to be heard. Mars's actions, we're going to be reviewing our communication skills in order to communicate more clearly. Stay tuned. Later on, I'll show you we have a Mercury retrograde in the middle of this Mars retrograde, which will intensify all this throughout that month of May as Mercury is retrograde. I need to take a drink.